Hi everyone, welcome to my um, my second review. This is on Alejandro Dominguez. I haven't heard of him before. Um, he plays in the Hellas Liga for Olympiacos and he's Argentinian. Um, God, so frustrating with this inform. I picked him because he was he was like literally discard price. I think I paid nine six for him. I wasn't expecting much and I didn't get much from him. Uh, I'm just I'm just looking at some of his stats now. 88 ball control. Yeah, he was, it was strange. I mean he's quite he's not a tall player but he's got like 71 strength but it is balanced I, I had people trying to uh, be, people could pull him off the ball like not easily but uh, when they pull him off the ball most people go down to the floor he didn't and quite a few times he knocked into the player and ended up knocking them over and come away with the ball but I tried him in diff three different positions and three different teams I tried him as a central cam and then I wasn't getting him near the goal near enough. And I tried him as a wide cam and he wasn't quick enough to get around anyone. Um, he's got 86 long shots, so I was testing out. No matter where I, shot, where I shot with him from, the trajectory of the ball seemed to be spot on, but it always went wide or, you know, straight at the goalkeeper. I don't know, don't know what the hell it is. I mean, I've, I've used players with 78 finishing before and I've had, never had that much trouble scoring with him. It's disappointing because... His all-round game was fantastic. Other than that, I mean, I was surprised at how easy he got around players with the with the ball, like uh, people who were containing, and he, he, like you know, knock it past them with ease, and they were left standing because he, he was pretty good, and his positioning was pretty good. When I had him as a central cam, he was on the shoulder of the defender, like you get the most high-low work rate players, like. Um, uh, Damjanovic is one of them, like I say, he's that, that type of player that was on the shoulder of the defender. I thought about playing him as a striker, but I never got around to it because I couldn't bloody finish with him. So, I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. He's got 88 curve. I scored two goals with him in about 12 games because I do I did more games with him than I have with any with any other player I've played with as a review because I was so wanted to get as much as I so badly wanted to get a lot of, more out of him. But yeah, he was good. He was tough to get off the ball. I say I've. And he was good at bundling players over because I think I think it's his 83 of balance and his uh, reactions are getting the ball once you know someone tried to take it off him. And, uh, but yeah, I just wish his shooting was better. I mean, I, <clears throat> I know it's 78 shooting. You know, you think what what do you expect? But expect a lot more when it's 88, 88 curve with 78 finishing and his long shots. Like I say, they they went in the right trajectory, but they never went in the bloody goal because it always went wide or straight down the keeper's throat or bounced started to dip way too soon uh, there was no in the middle with him he was either brilliant or he was crap he was no you know it depends what aspect of the the game you were looking at i mean if you if you were looking to spray the ball around he, he was fantastic i was really surprised I, I was expecting his shooting to be better than his all-round gameplay but it was the other way around for me i mean i was not expecting him to be the kind of playmaker player that he what that he built for me but all in all, I'd say I give him like a 6 out of 10. I know you're saying it's 9k, what do you expect? But I expect somebody who can finish the bloody ball, to be honest. But uh, his ball control was really good, really good player, but didn't have no trouble. He wasn't stiff dribbling or anything. Or, and uh, 71 pace, it's, it's, it's manageable for someone in a cam position, but as a wide cam, I couldn't get nothing done with him. Um, a low attack work rate which helps, he's got 4 star weak foot and 3 star skills. A 1 club player trait, I don't know how true that is, it could be the same as the Bundesliga, 1 club loyal trait for all I know. But yeah, all in all I was I was, I was pleased with him as, him as a playmaker but not as a finisher because his, his shooting was poor, I mean, really poor. I was disappointed and I, I gave up trying to make him good in the end because I just, it just was what it was. So on all, I'd give him a 7 out of 10. A 6 out of 10, sorry. I'd have given him more if his shooting was better. But like I said, his weaknesses are his, his, his overall finishing for me. But his, his positive definitely is ball control and his price and the ability to be there when he was needed to give the ball you know, to the right person. No complaints and pretty strong too. Right, guys, that's about wraps up this for the this inform. And uh, coming up shortly, there'll be another, my third inform review. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, bye.